Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Solomon Onazi, aka Mama Budua. Yes, I talk about sex in marriage. I will always talk about sex in marriage because marriage is a blessing. Sex in marriage is a gift from God Almighty. And we should use it well so that even God himself that bless us with this gift will be happy with us. Some women don't have interest, again, in sex. Not because they don't want to have interest, but because of one thing or the other that has happened, that is happening. Is making them that is making them not to have interest to lose interest they don't want to have anything to do with sex and i want to say either them or their husband are responsible for this husband how are you responsible for your wife not to be interested in marriage and um, in, in in sex you don't help out you don't care for her you don't want to know what is wrong with her how you even do it whether she enjoy it or she doesn't enjoy it is none of your business you just want to do your own and get out you don't need to be selfish as you yourself you are okay you need to know if your wife is okay so you need to do a follow-up and how you do it it matters you need to find out communication that's where communication comes in and woman whatever however your husband can help you it's for you to enjoy sex and marriage is for you to speak out speak discuss it husband you don't help your wife in the kitchen you don't help her, help her in the house choice you don't help her financially you don't want to you don't care about anything that is happening to her the only thing that you care about is when it is time for you to travel and land you cannot travel though. you cannot travel so even to the point that when she needs help to collect house help for someone to help her you are against it you cannot get the best out of her madam whatever your husband can do to you to help you speak out and if it is as a result of one offense or the other, hey, you offended me sometimes ago because of that I'm still holding, I, I'm still feeling hot. Let's go of the past. Let's go of the offense. And if you have not talked about the offense for him to apologize, talk about it. Okay? When they let you know what your offense is, please don't be too big to apologize. Move on. Marriage, sex and marriage is beautiful let us all enjoy it like i said in the beginning that marriage it's a privilege it is not because you're beautiful it's not because you're handsome it's not because you're rich it's not because you're intelligent or you have a higher certificate there are people that have a better certificate they are more intelligent than you they are not married yet yes they will be married in future but you just have to Takes it things easy and know that it is a privilege. It's not your certificate that have earned you a marriage. It is not your beauty that have earned you a marriage. It's a privilege. Appreciate God and don't take that privilege for granted. Don't think because you have a good character. If some people have that character, if it is because of character, some people have a better character and they are still not married. So your own character is even worse. Some of us, our character... It's bad. But God has shown us mercy. So, and now because God has shown you mercy, you are not taking your marriage anyhow, anyhow. You are, you are doing it anyhow. Stop doing your marriage anyhow. It's something that you need to value. Value your marriage. Let's value our marriage. Value your, your spouse. Let's value one another. And respect one another. So, for good sex in marriage, please stop wasting it. Enjoy it. There are people that wish they can, that can, they cannot. Your good sex in your marriage, okay? Help your wife, madam. Don't wait until you have infection in your white house before you still look before you start looking for gas cucumber to scratch to help you scratch it. Do it and do it at all times so that that place will not even be smelly, it will not rust. Don't wait until you need help, okay? okay sir, I'm begging you in the name of God, help your wife, help her. Don't wait for another person to help you commend your wife. Don't wait for another person to help you look at your wife and see your wife is beautiful. Your wife has changed hair. Your hair made you for like 100 times. You are not even aware. 
Literally two things matters. Buy a gift to one another. Appreciate one another. Pray for one another. And enjoy good sex in your marriage. Till I come your way again. I remain your one and only Dr. Solomon, a.k.a. Mama Budwa. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Budwa Plus TV, in case you have not. Like, share, comment, and keep following. God bless you. I will always talk about good sex in marriage. Please note before I go, there are people that you are a mentor to. You are mentoring them without you knowing. Your children, people around you. Some people will say, if marriage is like this, ah, God forbid, I'd rather remain single. It is because of the way you handle your own marriage. And some people will say, ah, if this is marriage, this is how marriage is. I want to get married and, married and have a beautiful home like these people. You are a mentor to somebody. You are mentoring people without you knowing. So please be mindful of how you behave, how you handle your marriage. God bless us.